So there's been a lot of discussion in the media lately about a recent court ruling and how it will affect the real estate industry, how it will affect real estate agents, how it will affect home buyers and home sellers. Almost all of it has been inaccurate. And I'm looking at you, Wall Street Journal, who literally had inaccuracies in every single story that you ran for two weeks. It was pathetic, honestly. So let's clear up a couple of falsehoods. There's gonna be a lot more discussion to come as we head toward the summer when all of this potentially gets settled. Number one, nobody's gonna pay a buyer's agent a commission anymore. False. Home sellers, buyer's representatives, anybody can pay a buyer's agent if they choose to, but they're not required to, nor were they ever required to. Commissions are negotiable, they were, and they will continue to be. Buyer's agents won't be used as a part of the process. God forbid for home buyers, that's the case. Because in an uber competitive market, success depends on great advocacy. Buyer's agents are not going away and smell sellers, the smart ones, are going to continue to incentivize agents to bring them the best buyers because there's a little thing called supply and demand. It's 10th grade economics. For those of you celebrating this court ruling and 10th grade economics say the highest demand for a property brings the highest return for a property. The thing is what this court ruling did not address which God forbid somebody needs to, is that the industry of selling and buying real estate, the people who represent home buyers and home sellers in the real estate industry have got to be raised to a higher level. It's gotta be harder to get into the business. It's gotta be harder to stay in the business. And the standard of excellence needs to be way, raised way up. And this ruling does nothing to address that. Let me give you a little example. In our local board where I live in central Indiana, last year, 50% of the agents who are members of the board didn't sell one home. Not one. 75% of the agents sold three or less homes. Who's hiring somebody to represent them in a real estate transaction worth hundreds of thousands of dollars who has sold less than three homes? My business, the business of advocacy in a real estate transaction is about experience. A lot of experience over a long time and great morals and ethics and things of that nature as well and working hard, all of those things. But it's also about experience. That's how you get good at being an advocate for someone in a real estate transaction. And 75% of the people in my board don't have enough experience on a year to year basis to do that well. Be very careful consumers when you're choosing to hire somebody and the best are still worth every penny that they're gonna get paid. I don't care how they get paid. And that's gonna change somewhat. It will be a very confusing time in the real estate industry, but for consumers, for home buyers and home sellers, choose wisely who represents you. It's incredibly important for your outcome, for your dollars, for your financial return, and for the success of your transaction that you pick the right person to represent you. And there are fewer of those out there than you might think.